Howdy howdy everyone and welcome back to this tutorial series. I don't know about you but I think it's about time that we get rid of this uh, boilerplate um, component here and replace it with actual data coming from the uh, contentful CMS and namely job post. Okay so the goal of this tutorial the, the, of this particular lesson is to create a component that will list the job post and um, in order to do that you know me, I like to keep things very uh, modular and clean. So we're gonna create uh, a component here called um, job list, and it's gonna be responsible for displaying the listings uh, for the job. So let's create a folder, make the uh, components, and I like it to have, uh, put it in a folder called data, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna call it list. So data is basically a way to, uh, the, the data folder, is basically a folder that will keep every component that is which job is to display data okay and the lists folder is basically every component that is related to listing uh, that is a listing component basically it could be a list of companies a list of products a list of jobs in this case okay so that's basically what we're doing here and we're going to create another one called cards because when we are listing, usually we are listing a list of cards, okay? And finally, details, because usually when we are on the cards, uh, on the card, uh, we have a link to go to the actual, uh, to a single listing, which is uh, the details page for that particular uh, job post, okay? So here we have it. We have a, a list of uh, files, uh, folders, and within this folder, the first the one that we are interested in creating right now is the job jobs list, okay? We create that one, right? Export, okay, very good. Now let's try to use this in our index of the, um, HTML let's import it here import jobs list okay and we're going to replace everything this boilerplate here with that okay like this jobs list very simple and let's see how it looks very good right now we have it we have um, our jobs list fantastic now the next thing we want to do obviously is this is this is going to receive a list of jobs okay so let's actually have some dummy data here uh, let's remove this for now const jobs i'm just going to create a, a dummy list of uh, jobs okay id one uh, title job one slug slug uh, job one okay it kind of mimic mimics what we have in the database okay i'm gonna duplicate this and create a few few more okay so let's duplicate this create a few more like this i'm gonna replace this very quickly three and four okay same thing two three four same thing two three four okay now we're gonna pass this down to this okay jobs equals jobs all right and this is going to receive it like this and it's its goal if you console log log the jobs you see that we are passing it successfully to the component let's open this here like this let's look at the console log you see we are receiving all those uh jobs successfully within the job list component obviously uh to keep things granular we want to uh, create a job card component that's going to receive each job and pass it uh, down to the um, to the uh, uh, actual component that's responsible for displaying it. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's first create a job card component. Okay, so job card, job card, JSX. Okay, oh, yeah. no. All right, so it's going to receive a particular job and it's going to display that job card. Let's have some a fragment here, okay, and let's put this inside. This is just for demo, okay. We're going to put the first thing is um, a div that's going to display the job, the title, okay, and that's it. 
Um, yes, job cut and the job, job title. Um, all right, so the next thing we want to do, obviously, is to make sure that we are passing the importing the uh, job card component. So let's import it here, job card. Okay, and here what we want to return um, is an all right, we have this div. Okay, let's wrap this in some parentheses. Okay, and we want to do jobs.map. Okay, and for each job, uh, oops, should wrap this like this. Okay, and for each job, we want to return. Um, the job card, right? Job card. Very good. Job equals job. Okay. Let me close this like this. And we're good. Very, very good. Let's see how it looks on the front end. Okay. Normally, should be displaying our job card. Let's see what is missing here. Uh, okay. What is missing? It should be displaying our job cards. What is going wrong? This console log log job. What is not working? All right, this this a problem. There's a problem somewhere. Let's see what is not working properly. Okay, okay. Job card. Oh yeah, indeed. We need we have we are using the syntax, so we need to do return here. We could have shortened this into a because we are we are basically yeah, so we need to make this um, anyway, we can make it we can make shorten this like this. Okay. Oops. Oh no. Oh, I'm doing syntax issue. All right, very good. Now there we have it. Okay. So um, now what is missing, obviously, is complaining that we are not given the key. So let's pass the key job.id and it's not going to complain anymore. Very good. So here we have it. Um, and now displaying the job card, job one, job two, job three, job four, okay? So now that we have this, obviously these are real data, okay? That you're passing from uh, the job, um, the indexed page, okay? And even like in the previous video, we, we were fetching companies, but we should be fetching uh, actual jobs, okay? So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna create, um, in our data layer, another file, another folder, uh, sorry, another file called job, okay? Which is gonna be responsible for anything that has to do with jobs, okay? And we're gonna do a similar thing. We import the client, okay? Client, and we're gonna fetch the jobs. Uh, const, get jobs, export, const, get jobs equals, um, sync okay all right what we're gonna do uh, const jobs equals await uh, client dot get entries uh, then content type that we're fetching content type remember is the lowercase and then we return but there's going to be an issue i'm going to show you um as first console log here log jobs dot items is going to break the code okay so let's first go and import it here in uh, we don't need this anymore and one last thing that we need to do here is to make sure that uh, to keep things uh cms agnostic like i mentioned earlier we need to make sure that you're exporting it uh, properly here let's do that export uh, get jobs oops get jobs 
I can do it earlier. So let's do the same thing. I'm going to do export here like this with this. All right, that allows us that enables that enable us to um, import it in this page without uh, worrying about like yeah what it is uh, which CMS that we are using. So get jobs, importing it from the data layer. Replace here. I replace here. I put jobs here. Okay. And here I put also jobs. Okay. And here I put jobs. I can now remove what we have here because it's already complaining that we are doing. Place. Now it's going to tell us that we have a bug. Okay. It's going to give us a bug. Very good. This bug is basically, if you remember, in our content um, model, um, we have a dependency, a circular dependency, um, meaning our our jobs have this field called related jobs. Actually, let me open one that does have a dependency like that. Okay, so you see here, related jobs uh, is 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 a field that relates to other jobs. Okay, and when you're serializing. Um, in uh, basically Next.js is doing a serialization when we are returning data like this before passing it down to um, to the actual component is doing a serialization, right? But like the error says, we can't do a circular, a circular uh, uh, reference when you're doing serialization, right? So for that, in order to, to, to fix that, we're going to do what we call data cleaning because uh, Actually, let me first do a quick walk around to show you what's going on. And we're going to do some data cleaning later on um, to make sure that you're displaying the data properly. So to do the data cleaning, what I'm going to do, uh, the first walk around, I'm going to just simply, uh, when I'm fetching the data, uh, initially, I'm going to put this field to null, okay? Just to make sure that we uh, we get we are, we are, we are uh, clear from that issue. So jobs.items dot map okay and then for each job oops for each job what you want to do is return um it, and let's first do job dot oops dot fields equals we're gonna put an empty list and we're gonna return job okay and that's basically gonna solve the issue but it's a walk around for now, okay? It's going to walk around. <clears throat> and if you look, we see the console log, you see? These are all the jobs, all right? They're still coming from um, Contentful. Now you see these are jobs coming from Contentful, okay? And the related jobs is the empty array, all right? And you see, now our code is broken, right? Because we are just displaying job card, job card, job card, and in the card, our card expects the, the title to be uh, not hidden within a fields, okay? At the moment, the data coming from Contentful are hidden within fields, within metadata, within sys, and they are also very Contentful-centric, meaning that like our application needs to be aware that we are using Contentful to be able to consume them, which obviously, like I've been saying throughout this video, it's not a good idea because we we will really love to be able to be in a position where switching the the, the, the data layer is just uh, a, a one a single file change, right? So we will in the next video. Um, what we're gonna do is make sure that um, our 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 um, data when they come from Contentful before returning those data. Uh, like this to be consumed by our Next.js application. We are going to have some a couple of cleaning here in this file in this file to make sure that uh, the data are normalized, uh, that the field that you need are not uh, in in different locations. For example, you see here the tags are in uh, in, a, in a metadata field, and they are very very difficult. If you if you if you were to display them like this in the application. Is going to um, make our application very much uh, contentful centric, which is not uh, exactly what we want. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to see how to clean these things and make sure that uh, everything uh, is displayed in the front end, regardless of without necessarily um, uh, 
uh, take into consideration the fact that Contentful is being used under the cover. Okay, so that's what we're going to see in the next video. So stay tuned. Bye.